Now, the British ultra runner Jasmine Paris made history last week by becoming the first woman to compete uh, and complete one of the world's toughest races, the Barclay Marathons. She's one of only 20 people to have completed the course since it was extended to 100 miles long back in 1989. Well, the annual event is held at Frozen Head State Park in Tennessee, and runners have to complete five loops of roughly 20 miles through what is extremely challenging terrain. Now, the exact route changes pretty regularly, and this year's included 60,000 feet of climbs and descents. It is twice the height of Mount Everest. And if that weren't enough, there's a time limit too. Jasmine crossed the finish line on Friday with just 99 seconds to spare before the 60-hour cutoff. Well, the mother of two, who works as a vet and a research scientist, told the BBC that she did it to test the limits of what she was capable of and to inspire other women around the world. I knew it was going to be tight from about six hours out from the finish, and I was really pushing. It wasn't until the last kilometre that I really sort of doubted that it was going to be possible. And at that point, I was um, I was just so desperate to stop and to stop running and to walk. And I knew that I couldn't because I wouldn't make it. So I just forced myself to keep running. And um, I think it was just the thought that if I didn't make it this time, it was going to be by seconds. And then I would have to come back and do the whole thing again, all those five loops, because I would never have let it rest. And I knew that I only had like a, yeah, a few minutes to get up that hill. So I ended up sprinting at the end of a and just 60 hours of running through the forest, which felt really hard. <laughs> I did it for me and, and I'm super happy that I achieved what I set out to do after the three years of trying. But I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that I kind of did it for women um, worldwide as well, not just runners, um, but maybe, any, you know, any woman that wants to um, take on a challenge and maybe doesn't have the confidence and the idea that I might have inspired them to believe in themselves and have a go. That's huge, yeah. yeah and especially all the young girls, you know, how, how hard it is to keep young girls in sports. So that's fantastic if I might have inspired some people to keep at it. It's hard to describe what is so hard about this race because lots of people ask and if you look at the statistics, you know, like they say, you don't you don't roughly know, but it's, it's, a, it's around five loops of roughly 20 miles, they say, which you know, it's a 100 mile race, people don't do that in far less time um, than, than 60 hours. But the, the fact is it's um, it's constantly up and down. So it's um, there's a huge amount of ascent, far more than you get in most mountain races. And at the same time, the terrain's very difficult, not very much of it's on paths, very little is on paths. So it's all kind of like um, it's steep, kind of leaf covered ground or rocks so you'd be scrambling or sliding back down it's in places it's very difficult to stay on your feet and then there's these big kind of gullies and mossy rocks and trees to climb over or undergrowth to kind of push through this year there was a new section of the course which involved a lot of um kind of um brambles um really thick ones that kind of slashed your legs and um, so my legs are actually far worse but some of my like I've got quite a few scratches on my arms and hands you were totally on your own out there most races will have checkpoints where they have you know some volunteers or um checkpoint staff to feed you and give you a bit of a cheer and send you on your way um, but this is not like that at all so from the moment you leave the camp till the moment you come back um there's no assistance and you only ever see anybody at maybe at the fire tower um, so it feels really isolated and really alone and there's a lot of potential to make mistakes in terms of navigational errors it's huge I mean you look back through the history of the race and there's some fantastic stories about where people have ended up this was a kind of project of multiple years and I really felt this year that I could do it like I had a really strong sense of self-belief um, and I think that was what kept me going if you look at the kind of the, the, the S estimates of how long it was going to take me to get back from certain points in the course there was no way I should have made it I think there was just some sort of adrenaline took over in that last loop and just carried me onwards and I yeah I just really believed it was possible and it's amazing what you do when, when you believe that I'm really looking forward to getting back to see the kids tomorrow and pick them up from school and nursery and give them a really big hug she then went and did the school run can you believe that just incredible. Yes, That's amazing, it. amazing woman. With 99 seconds to yes, spare as well. Yes, yes. Not able to see at the end, she was so exhausted. Or speak. Yes. Yeah.
Wow, congratulations, Taylor. What an amazing achievement.